to share my famous salad dressing with you because people ask me all the time, Isabel, I bought this salad dressing at the supermarket. All the salad dressings on the supermarket shelves, hardly any of them are any good because they have canola oil in them and then they have, you know, sugar in them and, you know, other oils that are worse and artificial sweeteners because maybe they're like low calorie salad dressings. So it's nearly impossible to find a good salad dressing. The salad dressing I make, everyone is a very, very big fan of. Now, unfortunately, I don't know the exact amount that I use, so I'm going to show you how I make it, and then you can try and do it at home and uh, maybe even make your own modified version. Okay, so what I have here is, and I'm looking for the top, oh, the top's right here. Okay, is one of those like good seasons salad dressing shakers where you put the packet in and then the oil and the vinegar and you just shake. Well, we're obviously not going to do it out of a packet. Okay, the first thing I do is I take yellow mustard, or you can use Dijon mustard. And this is organic yellow mustard, and it actually has apple cider vinegar in it. You're going to see that's going to be one of our ingredients. So I take one teaspoon, and I put that in here. And I don't really worry about, you know, if it's exact or not exact. I just kind of throw it in. Okay? And then the next thing I do is I put a little bit of garlic powder in here. You know, and again, I wish I could tell you how much, how little. I don't know. If you really like garlic, put more. If you don't, don't put that much. Okay. Next thing I do is I put salt. Um, I can see my salt on the dining room table. Is there another? Okay, let's pretend that this one's kind of empty. This is my Celtic sea salt. But this one's empty. The other one's on the table, but I'm not going to go and get it. Okay, so just pretend that I put some salt in there. i got to do something with this shape. Um, okay. Now we're going to put apple cider vinegar in here. This is the magic ingredient. Now, I know I don't talk about apple cider vinegar that much in my book, but people have been using it for centuries to cure everything. I mean, it's great for dry skin. Like, if you have dry scalp, you can put apple cider vinegar on your scalp and let it sit for a little bit, wash it off, and it'll help with dry scalp. Um, it's really good for heartburn if you mix it with a little bit of water and have it. I know it, it seems kind of... Uh, like it doesn't make sense, you're taking in something that's acidic, but actually does help. Uh, my uh, dishwasher is going off. That means my dishes are clean. Uh, what else is apple cider vinegar good for? Um, it's actually really good for type 2 diabetics and controlling blood sugar. And last but not least, it's really great for weight loss. And researchers don't really know how it works. It does increase the metabolism a little bit. Um, you know, you can't just drink apple cider vinegar and expect that to be the, you know, magic potion to your weight loss. But if you, the recommended amount is to take one teaspoon in water before each meal, and supposedly that will help accelerate your weight loss and will help you control your appetite. You know what? It's such a great food that it's worth trying. I'm not saying, again, that it's a magic potion, but I put apple cider vinegar in my salad dressing. Um... So, for me, I kind of just go up until this point. Again, I know that's not a really, like, good measurement. And then, extra virgin olive oil, organic, of course. And we put that in here. And that's kind of like the main ingredient. And you want to get in enough healthy fat in the day. So, don't be afraid to put a good amount of olive oil in here. That should be pretty good. Now, what I do sometimes, what I don't have right now, is I'll actually put some raw Parmesan cheese, and um, I'll grate some cheese, and I'll put that in here, and that'll give it a really good taste, and I'll cover it up. I probably could put a little bit more olive oil in there, and I'll shake, and then shake over the sink, just so I don't make it absolute mess. Um, so, you, I mean, you want to shake it real, real good so that the mustard kind of mix, mixes in in there, and that's it. That's the salad dressing that I serve with all my salads, and people love it. And, you know, if you want to make your own variation, you can use a different vinegar. Although, you know, after I told you all the great things about apple cider vinegar, you probably want to use that. You can sort of, uh, if you don't like mustard, don't put mustard in there. And grab a bunch of Italian seasonings, at, like, you know, oregano. And I've got sage in here. Um, what else do I have in here? You know, you can put some parsley, uh, some black pepper. I mean, just kind of, you know, make um, make like a Italian-style dressing, olive oil and vinegar and all those spices. 
salt and pepper, garlic, and that's probably better than any Italian dressing you're going to get off the shelf. So let me know if you try my recipe and let me know how you like it. Let me know how your family likes it because we really like it around.